Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about how you can assure that you get funding in your universities, in the universities that you applied. A little bit about me, I applied for CS programs um, for fall 2019, Masters in Computer Science programs. I got through a couple of universities, I have a video out there which universities I got through but I did not get any funding. This time, I applied to a couple of MBA universities and Three of those have given out the decision as of now. I'm not going to be telling you which ones, uh, which ones in this video. So don't you know? Don't expect me to. But you know, I'm going to be bringing out another video for that. But all three of these have given me funding. One of them, fifty percent. The other one, ten thousand dollars. The other one, eighty-five percent. And I want to tell you how you can ensure you get funded as well. What was the difference when I applied in fall 2019? I did not get any funding, and this time I get a lot of funding. So what kind of a difference in my applications did you see? Were my, were my SOPs very good? Were my recommenders very highly qualified this time? Or was my CGPA changed? No, nothing like that. It's the same recommenders, similar SOPs, and the exact same CGPA. So what changed? Apart from the program, of course, you know, CS to MBA. You already might know that, you know, MBA is harder to get into as compared to CS, all right? And, you know, they have separate essays, you know, every single time you have to do everything else. So, yeah, all of these things are definitely, you know, um, in consideration. But the major points, and, and students come to me every single day, even clients that I'm working with come to me and they ask, ask me, Yash, how can we go ahead and get funding? And, you know, this is the time they're asking me on, you know, today itself, I talked to, you know, some, some, uh, some of the clients, you know, this morning, and they were talking about getting funded internal scholarships, you know, the scholarships that universities offer you with the admit. And you know what, I think the major criteria that I want to bring out to you guys in this video is what really contributes to that funding. The number one thing that I have seen in my experience contribute to getting funded, no matter which program you apply for is that first off you know i don't need to talk about this your profile should be good enough you should have a stellar cgpa you should have a stellar you know sop or lor should be good all of these things these are things that you already know though so why am i talking about these i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this you already know this but the second thing is the program you're applying for if you're applying for areas like engineering computer science which is highly populated again the funding is a little bit lower if there's less applicants you can expect more funding, all right? And finally, the most important factor, I'm not saying that the other ones are not important, but this is the most important one, guys, is the timing of your application. If you're applying in December, January, February for fall term, for the fall term, um, applications actually open up in October itself. If you're applying in December or later, that means other people have applied in two months that you did not apply to. You know, October, November, you did not apply. Other people applied and they already got their admits by December. So, see, this is the major difference. At that point of time, when you apply early, universities are giving out funding. And this is important, guys. This is so, so important. I've worked with hundreds of people and I've seen this. This is a consistent thing that, you know, you will find if you apply early. I know there's not a lot you can do right now, but hey, maybe some of you are watching this in advance. You're applying for fall 2022, spring 2022, whatever it is, you want to apply as soon as the applications open up if you're looking for funding. All right. Another thing that contributes very highly to your funding is your, your CGPA. You need to have a good CGPA, but if you're willing to counter that, let's say you don't have a great CGPA, you're at maybe, you know, uh, a three out of four or maybe a 6.7 out of 10, then you lower down your reputation of universities highly. Let's say, you know, I mean, this is only for people who are looking for scholarships, you know, who cannot afford university or college overseas. Let's say you apply to universities in Missouri, you apply to universities in Omaha, places where people don't want to go, and you know, these are these colleges, these universities, they don't receive a whole lot of applications. So even if you're applying late, even if you don't have a very great CGPA, you can expect a certain level of funding from them because hey, they want you to come there. All right. And guess what? You can also negotiate with universities. Even once you get your admit, you can negotiate with them. You can talk about it. You can say, hey, I have been receiving, you know, funding from university XYZ, but I really want to join your university. I need some sort of funding to come over here and you know, I'll be happy with even 10, 20% and guess what? They'll actually consider it. Okay. So it's important guys. Um, if you're working with me again, I'll be guiding you through all of this anyway, but for all these people who are doing their applications by yourself and I understand it's, it's fine to do these yourself, but you should know these things. 
you can apply and you can still get scholarships on your own but apply early make sure your profile is looking good if it's not then apply to very low ranked universities if a scholarship governs whether you go or not in that case don't think of the top universities um, beggars can't be choosers that's the sort of thing that happens if your profile is not good enough and you have to have funding go for the lower ranked ones but otherwise in all other cases apply early and you will see tremendous results in your applications this is Yash Mitra signing off now if you need any further help regarding your applications you can go on to yamgrad.com you can sign up and you know I'll be personally be able to help you with your applications if you need you know any minor many minor, minor doubts that you have or you know we do a lot of posts on Instagram regarding you know uh, important information and updates that you should have regarding your processes you can follow me on Instagram for that but apart from that subscribe to the channel if you like the content that I'm bringing you, this is my years of experience that I'm giving out to you guys for free. So thank you so much for watching. And, uh, you know, I'd really appreciate some, figure, uh, some help in that. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Take care.